Despite the province's urgent push to get as many people vaccinated as possible, those without OHIP who do qualify for vaccination are hitting a major roadblock. And it all has to do with a glaring problem we've discovered on Ontario's registration portal that still hasn't been fixed. They are telling me that because my mom doesn't have OHIP, she needs to get a COVID ID from Toronto Public Health. But when you call the Toronto Public Health hotline to ask for a COVID ID... There is no uh, particular COVID ID that we are providing. Monica Aguirre's 69-year-old mother is visiting from Colombia on a super visa that allows her to stay in the country for up to two years at a time, but does not entitle her to OHIP coverage. She says she spent several hours over the past week trying to book her mom a vaccine appointment via the provincial portal and the TPH call centre, but had no luck. On the other hand, I've tried to um, go to shoppers, to another pharmacy, and the same story. You cannot book an appointment because my mom does not have OHIP. Toronto's Associate Medical Officer of Health confirms that while you don't need a health card to get vaccinated, the reason for the runaround Monica faced is because the system to book without OHIP simply doesn't exist yet on the provincial booking portal that TPH is using. We're working on a process for how we can accept appointments and give appointments to people who do not have an OHIP card. For now, if you don't have an Ontario health card, TPH will take your information and contact you once the process is in place. You can also book directly at one of the hospitals that have their own portals. But Monica says she only learned all that because she had the time and wherewithal to advocate for her mother. Thousands of others may not be that privileged. You have uh, graduates, international students who are graduates, people in a work permit who don't have full-time job. You have new immigrants who are waiting for their OHIP you have people who have been sponsored by their spouses who also don't have OHIP. There's so many people who may be afraid of speaking up and asking these questions. So if you can't go online, if you can't get this information in something that is easy to do, people are not going to be getting vaccinated. And at the end of the day, that is our main goal, to get people vaccinated. And while TPH works on the issue, Dr. Dubé says that when the process is in place, it will be open to all, documentation notwithstanding. We will be accepting other government-issued ID. It doesn't have to even be Canadian. Some people may be concerned if they don't have documentation. They're worried that getting vaccinated may alert them to authorities. That is not the case. Whatever their status is here in Toronto or in the city will be secure. Now, Dr. Dubé says that Toronto's process to book vaccine appointments without OHIP is expected to be in place by mid-April. We'll keep this story updated on our website, citynews.ca. For City News, I'm Dilshad Verman.